All right, y'all. So what's up? It's the real DJ Red again. Um, just a quick tip on this Mixars mixer. I ran into a problem over the weekend. Uh, I was playing with another DJ, DJ Silver Fox. Shout out to you. And I everything was working fine when I tested it out at home. As far as running the Mixars mixer with the Serato SL3. Now the Mixars mixer is a Serato mixer. Uh, it's fully mappable with a built-in sound card. Being that both of us were playing, uh, I set it up so that uh, we can transition between his laptop and my laptop without stopping music. And that's, that's something that I really hate. So what I did was I plugged up the SL3 in between the CDJs and the Mixars Mixer. Not realizing once I got on this yacht, let me turn this around so you guys can see. Not realizing that, um, matter of fact, let me unplug this real quick. This plug right here, or this power adapter, was running the SL3 interface, which is up under here. Hang on, let me stop this real quick. Cut the light on so you guys can see. Okay, as you can see, up under the mixer, I cut out the foam and everything to fit the SL3 in there. Okay, here's the thing. You have to have, if you're going to be running two DJs on this, I'll fix this back in a minute. If you're running two DJs on this with this setup, uh, you have to have the SL3 power adapter plugged up as well so that way it will be transferring sound as a through uh, that way the not only the sound but transfer the signal for the time codes uh, what happened was for some reason uh, when we stopped the music completely because no one was really there yet uh, and Silver Fox went to get on to try to play off of the mixer, the mix size mixer for some reason. The MacBook would not read it. I'm trying to remember exactly how everything went. The MacBook wouldn't read it, so it wouldn't open up Serato fully. So I plugged them up on the SL3. Uh, once we plugged them up on the SL3, it worked fine because the SL3 was getting power from the MacBook, his MacBook. When I got ready to get on to play off of the Mixar's Mixer, I had no control over the, uh, the CDJs. I had no platters whatsoever. However, I still played off of my set. I played internally. Um, I felt like I did okay. I could have done better if I had the platters, but um, for what it was, I did what I did. Um, did my little quick set or whatever and then I got back off and then he got back on and finished out the night. Um, but for some reason I couldn't figure out why I didn't have control of the platters. I unplugged the SL3 to plug up the um, the power pack for the MacBook. Not realizing I just killed my whole through line on there for the time codes and that's what happened. So there's your tip for the day. Anyone that's using the Mixars mixer and you want to run uh, two DJs on there, it can be done. Make sure that the Serato box, whether it be SL3, uh, 4, um, and I believe even the 2. I'm not sure if the 2 uses a power adapter with it but it has to be plugged up, it has to have some type of power on there for it to transfer the signal from the time code through the Serato interface back into the Mixars mixer. So there you go. Um, just a little tip. I had a problem. Hope you guys don't have to do it. Most guys don't play with uh, two DJs on the same system. I did. We were limited on space on this yacht. So. Uh, it really, really puzzled me until I got back up here. I was setting everything back up, getting ready to try to record something. And I noticed again, platter wasn't working. Couldn't figure out why. Plugged up the SL3. Uh, 
the USB, both sides of the Serato popped up. I went back to the mixers, it wouldn't pop up on there, it just stayed on there as, um, actually no, I plugged up the mixers on there, still had no control from the uh, CDJ platters, it wasn't even showing up on there, and I thought about it, plugged the power back up on the SL3. So, simple problem, simple solution, big headache, big problem, I won't have to go through that anymore, so there you have it, peace.